What's going on YouTube, GS right here. So in today's video, I have some great news for those of you waiting for an iOS 13.5.1 and 13.6 jailbreak. A new TFP0 kernel exploit has been achieved. This video is brought to you by Wondershare and their software WhatsApp Business Transfer, which allows you to transfer your WhatsApp business or normal WhatsApp conversations from your device to your computer or from device to device. Check it out in the link below. So as you probably know, right now, iOS 13.6 and 13.5.1 are the currently signed versions with 13.6 being released a couple of days ago. Now iOS 13.6 does have a lot of changes and if you actually check the security contents in here published by Apple, you can see quite a lot of CVEs in here with a lot of components being affected, including the kernel itself, with one bug from Proteus, a couple of bugs from various security researchers and even one from Brandon Azad of Google Project Zero. I'm going to come back to Brandon Azad in a couple of seconds because he will post something very important. However, after iOS 13.6 got published, Simo posted this picture in here, which basically details a TFP0 kernel exploit, which basically was achieved on 13.6. So as you can see from the uh, picture, it does have the login components and it gets the uh, task board, the kernel task board in there. And of course, there are multiple things, for example, the kernel slide, which was uh, actually calculated in there. And then the device runs the uname a similar command, and it does bring you the uh, Darwin kernel version string in here, basically proving what version he is running. And then he posted this in here, quote, iOS 13.6 forced me to rewrite the exploit from scratch. So what Simon has in here is a TFP0 kernel exploit or a kernel task port exploit. So this one can actually be used to update the uncovered jailbreak if it gets released. We can update the uncover, we can update many other jailbreaks, and of course this one would work on A12 devices as well. However, there is no word on any release for the moment and it's actually quite normal because iOS 13.6 is actually signed right now as we speak and 13.5.1 as well. So releasing the exploit would basically mean releasing zero day, which Simon would probably not do. He would probably go with the responsible disclosure route, which basically means that he's going to submit it to Apple and they will of course release an update like this one here, credit him here on the page and of course after the vulnerability is patched, we would be able to get it with no problem. However, by that time 13.6 would either be second to last signed or of course unsigned completely like 13.5 or 13.5. 4.1. Now, speaking of the A12 devices, however, I said that this exploit would work on A12 devices as well, but nowadays TFP0 is not enough in order to get tweaks running on A12 and A13 devices. By the way, the A12 and A13 devices are the iPhone XS, XS Max, and XR, and of course the iPhone 11 and 11 Pro. However, Brandon Azad has something in store. A couple of days ago, he posted, quote, I am excited to be sharing my latest research on iOS kernel pointer authentication at Black Hat USA 2020. One year ago, I published five ways to bypass iOS 12 kernel PAC, and this year I will take a look at what changed in iOS 13, once again concluding with five new ways to bypass PAC. So for those of you who are new to the jailbreak community, the PAC is basically pointer authentication codes, and this is actually a security mitigation introduced in the A12 and A13 devices, which of course adds a new layer of protection against hackers and of course against the jailbreak community. So if you want your tweaks to actually run on a jailbroken device running 13.6, and of course on A12 and A13, you would actually need to bypass PAC as well. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to inject your tweaks into the applications and therefore the jailbreak would be very limited and kind of pointless. So this is actually quite a good thing. We're going to get another five new ways to bypass PAC like we did last year, which actually helped a lot. So with this in here and with Simo's exploit, if it gets released, we would be able to easily update the uncovered jailbreak to support the iOS 13.6 and 13.5. 5.1, which of course will result in a jailbreak for a very new iOS version, but unfortunately it may not be signed at that point. So I definitely recommend it to stay on 13.5.1 for now, and if we get any confirmation that the exploit will be released for 13.6, at that point you would be able to update if it's still signed. However, to play it safe for now, I would definitely advise you to stay on 13.5.1, and of course if you are already jailbroken, do not update. So yeah, a new TFP0 kernel exploit, this is massive. This this is the most important component of a jailbreak. You have this, you are definitely going to be able to jailbreak sooner or later. And with Brendan Azad's upcoming talk with the five new ways to bypass PAC in iOS 13, this is definitely going to be great. But yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Thank you for watching. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated. I will keep you updated with anything that's going on in the jailbreak community. I am Geosnow and till the next time, peace out.